Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Miko Manier, and today we're going to be reading Chapter 3 of Dark Entities 2. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't upload this video sooner since this chapter came out three days ago, but this is the uh, earliest I could record this. But nothing has been spoiled for me, so that's a plus, so I don't mind if I have to read a little later. But we're reading it today. Let's get started. So here we go, Chapter 3. We're talking about, uh, who's that? Charlotte's Bubble. Charlotte's Bubble. <clears throat> Let's get my voice ready. I just woke up, so I've got the, uh, the morning voice. You know how you sound all, all, all tired because you just woke up. That's, that's me right now. <laughs> okay. Tanner and I spent our whole childhood together since our mom died giving birth to me. Our dad had to raise us alone. What's with all the mystery ar around your dad? Every time you're talking about him, you call him dad? Do you mean he wasn't your bio biological dad? It's more complicated than that. We spent most of our lives thinking... What, what is that word? Thacker? Thacker was our dad. But it turned out our biological dad died a long time ago when he was just a child. What? Uh, can you repeat that again? I don't think my brain processed anything you said properly. Your brain possessed it just f uh, processed it just fine. Everything related to Thakar is fucked up. Wait, just, what do you mean, just a child? What happened? What? So it's Biological dad died a long time ago when he was just a child. That doesn't sound right. That sounds like the dad. He became a dad when he was just a child. Is that correct? <laughs> he used to be a very loving and caring dad to us, but things started to change when he found out Tanner was infertile. Thaka seemed to have lost all interest in my brother and started playing favorites with me ever since. Oh, wow. Wow. What an asshole. Oh my god, that's a lot of words. I really don't like speaking about this, but I got pregnant for the first time when I was only 15? What? Jesus! I didn't want to have it, so I told Thacker I wanted to get an abortion, but to my surprise, he tried to convince me to have it instead. After he realized there was no way to convince me, he tried to force me. So Tanner took me with him to a friend's and managed to get me an appointment somehow. Thacker found us a few weeks later and brought us back home. He didn't speak us. He didn't speak to us for a week. Then one day, I woke up in the middle of the night and found Tanner and Thacker unconscious inside of a paint, inside of a painted symbol on the floor, surrounded by candles. Tanner woke up once. I took him out of it. But Thacker never did, and he ended up stuck in a coma for a while. Days later, Tanner started seeing spirits all of a sudden. One of them even helped us find a medium to get some what's to get some understanding of what's going on. I told them about the symbol Thacker had painted, and they said it was a soul transfer ritual, meant to weaken Tanner's soul so that Thacker could replace it entirely. What? This fucking Thacker guy sounds like a shithole. What was your dad's plan exactly? Fucking immortality? I think I'm starting to understand. The person who raised you had the appearance of your biological dad, but it wasn't really him. It was someone else. Thacker started. Uh, Thacker wanted us to have children because he knew he could, he could only soul transfer to a male descendant. My biological dad died when he was a child after Thacker transferred his soul into his body. Ah, oh, okay. That's understandable now. The person who raised us was actually one of our ancestors all along. Uh, so it, it was the dad's body, but it wasn't the dad. Okay, that, that makes sense. Because <laughs> when you said he died as a child, I'm like, uh, what? Well, you were right. That's really fucked up. How did you even f find out about all this stuff? Because I don't suppose he told you, did he? No, he was too smart for that. The medium we saw did. They only warned us, shall our dad's body turn into dust, Thacker would still be able to come back from the dead and attempt another soul transfer into Ethan later. Ooh, jeez. 
Why didn't the ritual work on Tanner? Because souls grow stronger as they get older. Tanner's soul was already too developed, but Ethan... He's still just a kid. Yeah. He wants some while they're weak. Wait. You're telling me Thacker's spirit is still wandering around? Your bro didn't get rid of him in a definitive way? If only it was that easy to get rid of a spirit. Tana only managed to trap Thacker into a necklace while he was still in a coma to prevent him from escaping and doing anything to us. You mean we could trap Pris <laughs> Priscilla inside some jewelry and bury her deep in the forest? I like that idea very much. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, just leave it in there. Yep. Sorry to disappoint, but that's not how it works. Tanner's power is what's keeping Thacker's spirit from escaping the necklace. If we were to leave it alone in some place, that'd be like leaving the door to Thacker's prison wide open. I didn't want Priscilla near me when she was alive. I'm certainly not going to wear a necklace with a rotten soul inside of it. <laughs> there has to be another way. Not one that I'm aware of, at least. Yeah, nah. Nah, I wouldn't want to wear one of those either. Nah, I don't want her there. Nah. I think I see a house up there. See the map matches the GPS. This must be it. Yeah. Can't see the GPS. My screen's too small. Uh, is that Tanner? I don't know. I'll go check. This is some guy. Some stranger. No, it's not. It's a woman. Excuse me. Do you live here? And you are looking for Tanner? I was told he lives here. Never heard of him. You and your friend should leave now. It's not safe around here. Okay, what are you doing, bitch? You're just, uh... You're very, uh, suspicious. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> I don't know who you are. What? <laughs> Did you just fucking wave at it? <laughs> okay! <laughs> you gonna be friendly. Okay, she's gone. Charming lady, that one. I take it that wasn't Tanner? That spell of yours sure worked like a charm. Now what? I don't know. Maybe, maybe he isn't there and she's just lying. I think I've seen that woman before. What did she tell you? That she doesn't know Tanner, but I think she's lying? How can you tell? It's my superpower. <laughs> so you do have powers too. No, Ryan. It was a figure of speech. Yeah, Ryan. Jeez. Ugh. <laughs> what if Tanner is still in there? Or what if he's not? Hmm. Please tell me you're not planning on breaking in. We came here looking for your brother. Not a way to get ourselves arrested. What if, what if she's kidnapped Tanner? Are you being serious right now? What even drove you to think that, that in the first place? That's insane! Brian's right. We can't just make assumptions like that out of nowhere. We just look through the windows. It should be fine. Of course you're gonna side with Ryan, don't you always? Uh, I don't know, maybe because he's right? You know I'm not doing shit like that. Besides, the spell tracked Tanner's current position at the time. Not the bed he sleeps in every day. He could be anywhere right now. Let's just take another look around while we're still here. Tanner might be somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Alright. Fine. Can I drive? <laughs> How are your eyes? Oh my god. Seductive as always. <laughs> How else do you expect them to be? Please. I can see perfectly. Well, if that's what you're worried about. Prove it to me. <laughs> Point your seductive eyes at something that's ten feet away and tell me what it is. If you insist. Oh my god. <laughs> Was it a broken light? You got broken light. <laughs> what was it? Click, click. Was it because it's broken? Oh my god, is that a bear? Rock, flowers, weird looking roots. Oh my god. Try again. Pretty confident that's a tree. <laughs> oh, second thought. Oh my god, it's a bear. Oh shit. Uh oh. <laughs> I suppose running is not an option. Don't even try. 
Let me handle it. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello there, buddy. We're humans, see? Fine, what the hell are you doing? Letting him know what people... He's probably just curious. I'm sure he's gonna leave soon. How can you be sure of that? I'm not. <laughs> Goddamn bear! Oh, look, he's leaving. There you go. You do know Ryan's a park ranger, right? Duh, but still. Animals are unpredictable. One can't tell for sure what they're gonna do next. <laughs> True. That's why I said I wasn't sure. There will always be exceptions, but usually bears don't attack people. Most of the time, they only get defensive to protect food, cubs, or their space. But this one just looked curious, so we're fine. What if that's the brother in a bear? Like how the dad's in a cat? I don't know. Speak for yourself, I almost died of a heart attack. So dramatic. Is this the one who literally shits his pants every time he sees a small bee? <laughs> Can we leave now? I thought you wanted to stay. Alive, preferably. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Is this the what's-his-face? That's the other cop. I forgot his name. <laughs> hmm. There you are, little devil. What is he looking for? The what's Oh, he's looking for his cat. Come on. What's that name? Chop uh, Chopil? Chopil? Copil? Chopil? No, I know you're here. He's looking for his- is he- has he got a tracker on his cat? That is genius. Move you dumbass, you're in the middle of the road! Alright, alright, no need for attitude, jeez. Who the heck was that? I don't know. He's outside. I'm just looking for my cat, bro. Jeez. Oh, there he is! He's eating- what the- <laughs> Hey, that's mine! Jump! You got my underwear! God damn it! Oh no! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Please! Please don't go there with that! You fucking scared him! You yelled at him! Cats get scared easily! You know that! <laughs> okay, now they're gonna talk to Ethan. Ethan, do you have anything you need? I think so. Let me check one more time. Dude, we did tell you we're taking you to the Chen's den. Not, to, not on a tour to Paris, right? Just grab some jammers and we'll head out. I'll be waiting downstairs. Okay. Are you going to tell me what's... What's... Are you going to tell me what's going? Are you going to tell me what's going? Okay. It's... Okay. Are you going to tell me what's going? It's not like my mom to just leave like that. She always talks to me before she goes out of town. Well, used to at least. You should probably wait for your mom to come back so she can tell you herself. I'd rather not talk to her right now. She's become so annoying. I kinda envy Gabe. Can't he just adopt me? I'm sure Gabe and Ryan would be better parents than Charlotte. Well, that's kinda harsh, boy! But Gabe and Ryan aren't the ones who took care of you for 10 years. You know it's one hell of a job to raise someone. You shouldn't say that again. <laughs> At least, don't say it to your mom. It hurt her a lot more than you think. Oh, he's sad. He feels bad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to word it like that. It's just, I'm really angry at her. Gabe used to defend me all the time when mom blamed me for everything. But since they broke up, it's gotten worse and Gabe's not here to defend me anymore. I know I messed up. I told her I wouldn't do it again and she thinks sh she doesn't believe me and honestly, I don't even blame her. I failed her once. How can she be sure I won't do it again? My word is nothing. Oh, my word is worth nothing. Oh, you poor child! I believe you when you say you won't do it again. Yeah, everyone does. Everyone but my mom. Your mom really had the fright of her life that night. Just give her some time. I'm sure things will go back to normal soon enough. But how long do I have to wait? I don't want to have to put up with my mom blaming me until she decides she believes me. Is that wrong? No. I think she does believe you. 
but she's really scared that something like that could happen again and things won't end as well as they did last time. You know, <clears throat> you're not doing anything wrong. Your mom's just not handling this the best way. You can try talking with her about it when she gets home if that's okay with you. I doubt that will work, but you're welcome to try. Yeah. No sign of life in 10 minutes. This place is deader than it looks. At least there's light. <laughs> oh, Gabe got to drive even though his eyesight's bad. Why are you so silent all of a sudden? I'm trying to remember where I saw that woman before. You remember her. <laughs> you remember her if she was one of your exes, right? That woman looked about twice our age. I'm pretty sure he'd remember her dicking a MILF. Oh, shit. Don't tell me you actually forgot that it was your ex. <laughs> no! Gabe! Jesus Christ! Anita! That woman was Anita. The crazy woman Pike warned us about this morning? Are you fucking kidding me? I told you there was something off about that woman. We have to get back there now! No way. I don't even have my gun on me. If things go wrong, cut the crap, Ryan. I'm a grown-ass woman. I can defend myself fine. Yes, she could be kidnapped. She could have kidnapped her brother. That woman killed her whole family. It'd be a mistake to go there alone. We don't know how dangerous she is. I don't care. Tan is somewhere near that house. It can't be a coincidence. He might need help. All right, but you two stay in the car while I go while I go check things out myself. Whoa, Gabe, what the hell are you doing? I don't know what's going on. Well, maybe her entire family disappeared because she, like, ghosted them or something. She did a spirit thing. And the bear was, was the brother. Gabe, watch out! Oh, no, it's the bear! <laughs> Run! Swerve it out of the way! Oh, shit! Okay, now get they swerve the bear out. No! What if the bear is actually the brother? I know oh, my freaking guess was correct. They fucking crashed into a tree! No! Who did that? Who did that ghost shit? Or maybe they're trying to swerve away from the bear <laughs> and try and avoid them getting hurt. <laughs> but they did a terrible job! Jesus Christ! I hope they're okay! Ah! Guys, what's taking you two so long? We're coming in a minute! That's what you said five minutes ago, but okay. I'll just wait here with my new best friend. God, I don't want something to happen. What's that? Val John? Oh, yeah, the cat. Where the, where the hell did that one go now? Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, did he fucking take off? Stupid cat took off! Why you? Why did you leave? Why did you do that? Oh, it's because he's turning into a cat, so his cat instincts are making him leave. Wait a minute. How in the world did I end up here? <laughs> God, the more he's in that body, the more he turns into a cat. Oh no, it's the cat again. Oh, fuck me. Wait, that was not an invitation. Go away! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I hope he knows the way back to the apartment. Oh, yeah, I hope so. Oh my god, stranger! Oh my god, is that the chick? Is that the chick? Oh no, what happened? What is- Who is that? I can't see! He just zapped her! What did you do? Who is that? Oh my god! What did you do? Did you hear that? No. If you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. Gabe does, Gabe does this to me all the time. Yeah, he used to do this to me uh, too, when we were little. He can get very creative when it comes to finding new ways to traumatize people. Oh yes, we, that, we know that, we know that. But shit's going on downstairs! Is she coming for the kid? I wonder what the hell is she doing? Are you ready? Not yet, I gotta pee. Alright, you come down whenever you're ready. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. No, they're gonna see this. Whoever that is, gonna take the kid. Steph, are you there? Oh God, what? What if that? The whatever the fuck that was was the was the uh, the, the uh, what was it called? Tekken? Fucking <laughs> Tekken? <laughs> yeah, that's that's the name. And I remember that correctly. 
What the heck is this? What the heck is that? I don't know. The stickers. I don't know. Evidence. Oh, come on! But don't you worry. I'll get rid of it once you're taken care of. What are you? Who are you? That's the bitch! That is the bitch! Oh, no! Not Priscilla, bitch. I'm, that doesn't look like her. She looks way older. That's the other uh, bitch that Charlotte that saw before. The one who killed her whole family. Is she going for the kid? Does she work for Tekken? <laughs> Does she work for Tekken? Is that what's going on right now? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just guessing. And I think the bear could be the brother because the bear came back. So it's just a, just a one coincidence. Like uh, the bear could be important. And I think that chick works for the... <laughs> I'm just gonna call him Tekken because I forgot his name. <laughs> forgot um, his... She works for... And just said she's trying to kidnap the boy so he can transfer his body into the boy. That's, that's what I think's going on. But holy shit, what a cliffhanger! God damn, you gotta... She's gonna take care of these two, shock them, make them unconscious, kidnap the boy. What was his name again? Ethan. He's gonna kidnap- she's gonna kidnap Ethan, and they're gonna transfer his- some, the soul into his body. I think that's what's going on. And oh my god, yeah, Ryan and Charlotte have been in an accident, I hope they're okay, I hope they just got a bump in the head. I don't need deaths from main characters again! I've already been traumatized with that before, so I don't need that again. Jeez. But I can't wait for chapter 4, shit's going down. Like, you know these comics. Something is happy, and everyone's happy, and together, and then shit hits the fan, and then we're all fucking worried about every character. Any- we could lose any character. We've seen that before, but great. But I'm not- I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna make this out too long, but thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Chapter 3 of Dark Entities. The songs that you're hearing in the background will be in the description below, and so will Lido's socials and his website. And his website, uh, Turning Point, the, uh, Life is Strange series. I'm going to put the Life is Strange uh, link series on, from his website so you can watch both Dark Entities 1 and 2 so you guys can catch up for yourself so you guys know what's going on. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.